Welcome to my new, very, very special self-defense martial arts teaching video to help all autistic, special need, and other children, teenagers with other disabilities. If a bully tries to harm you while you're on your way to your next class, the cafeteria or PE class while you're in school. In this one, I'll be showing them how to get out of the two-handed chokehold or the lapel grab. First, the two-handed chokehold. Let's say you're heading to your next class or the cafeteria or PE class and without warning a bully walks up and puts you in the two-handed chokehold. What you do? Play possum, act like they have you to get them to take their guard down. And then when they think they have you, put your chin down so you can breathe a little bit. Then you use the front snap kick to surprise them by striking their groin or knees. You can palm hill strike their nose knife hand chop their ears or put both your thumbs right behind their ears on the very soft spot which is right here press and squeeze really hard and that will hurt that's instant pain right there or take your front finger and thumb put it on the very soft spot in between the neck and shoulder press and squeeze really hard instant pain there or take both your fists and strike both their wrists to make them let go and then after they've let them go Use either the front snap or the side kick to strike the groin or knees, elbow strike the jaws, hammer fist their groin. And you can take both hands right here, take one of their legs, you see, pull, sit on the knee, and twist the ankle. Or the most common way, take both hands, grab this arm right here, pick them up off the ground, twist your hip, throw them on the ground, take the front foot, then you can trap their front wrist so they can't fight back. Then use the back foot to stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp, kia! And then go tell the teacher or principal or some other school staff member and let them know what happened. Watch again. You're on your way to your next class or the cafeteria for breakfast or lunch or your PE class. Then without warning, a bully walks up, puts you in the two-handed chokehold. What you do? Play possum, act like they have you. And then when they think they have you, put your chin down so you can breathe a little bit. Then use the front snap kick to strike the groin in her knees. And then after that, you can either knife hand chop their ears, palm hill strike their nose, or take both thumbs, put it on the very soft spot, right underneath their ears, Press and squeeze really hard and that's instant pain there. Or take your front finger and thumb, put it in between the neck and their neck and shoulder, press and squeeze really hard and that's instant pain there. Or you can take both your fists, strike both their wrists to make them let go. And then after that, you can use the front snap or the side kick to strike the groin or knees. Elbow strike the jaws, hammer fist their groin. Then you can take both hands, grab whatever leg you see, pull, sit on their knee, twist the ankle. Or the most common way, take both hands after you put your front foot right in front of you. Take both hands, grab this arm right here. Pick them up off the ground, twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Take the front foot, then trap the front wrist so they can't fight back. Then use the other foot to stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp. Then, go tell the teacher, the principal, or some other school staff member, and let them know what happened. Now I'm going to show you what, one, how to do it one last time, and I'll show you how it's going to look in combat speed, and then we're going to move on to the lapel grab. Let's say you're on your way to your next class, or the cafeteria for breakfast or lunch, or you're heading to your PE class. Then without warning, a bully walks up, puts both his hands around your neck to try to choke you out. What you do? Play possum. Act like they have you. And then when they think they have you, put your chin down so you can breathe a little bit. And then use the front snap kick to strike the groin or knees. Then you can either knife hand chop their ears, palm hill strike the nose, or take both your thumbs Put them on the very soft spot right underneath their ears. Then press and squeeze really hard. 
and that's instant pain there. Or take your front finger and thumb, put it on the very soft spot in between the neck and shoulder, press and squeeze really hard, instant pain there. Or take both your fists and strike both their wrists to make them let go. And then after that, you can use the front snap kick to strike the groin or knees, elbow strike the jaws, both of them, and then use a the hammer fist to strike their groin. Then you can take both hands, grab this whatever leg you see, twist the ankle, and sit on their knee. Or the most common way, take both hands, grab this arm right here, pick them up off the ground, twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Take the front foot, trap the front wrist. Then use the back foot to stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp, chia. And then go tell the teacher, the principal, or some other school staff member and let them know what happened. Now here's how it's gonna look in combat speed first when they, if you grab their leg. Kia, a kia, a kia. Kia, 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 That's how it's going to look, both of that in combat speed. Now we're going to move on to the lapel grab. Let's say you're heading to your next class or to the cafeteria for breakfast or lunch or your PE class. Then without warning, a bully walks up and puts you in the lapel grab. What you do? Just play possum, act like they have you. And then when they think they have you, use a front snap kick to strike the groin or knees. Then you can knife hand chop their ears Palm Hill strike the nose. Or take both your thumbs, put them right here, right behind their ears, on the very soft spot, press and squeeze really hard, instant pain there. Or take your front finger and thumb, put it on the very soft spot in between the neck and shoulder, press and squeeze really hard, that's instant pain there. And then you can put both your hands like you're praying, pull up, and then put the other hand like this, this hand right here and this hand right here. Push both their hands off your upper chest. And then after that, you can either use the front snap kick or the side kick to strike the groin or knees. Elbow strike the jaws, hammer fist the groin. Then put your front foot in front of you. You can take both hands, grab this arm right here, pick them up off the ground. Then twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Take the front foot, trap the front wrist so they can't get up. And then after that, use the back foot to stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp, chia. And then go tell the teacher or principal or some other school staff member and let them know what happened. Watch again. You're on your way to your next class. Order the cafeteria for breakfast or lunch or your PE class. Then without warning, a bully puts you in the lapel grab. What you do? Pretend they have you, just play possum, act like you're not gonna do nothing. Then when they think they have you, use the front snap kick to strike the groin or knees. Then you can, after that, knife hand chop the ears. Palm he'll strike the nose. Or you can take both thumbs, put them right behind their ears on the very soft spot, which is right here. Press and squeeze really hard, and that's instant pain there. Take the front, your front finger and thumb, put it in between their neck and shoulder in the very soft spot. Press and squeeze really hard, instant pain there. Or put both your hands together like you're praying. Pull up, then put this hand right there, this hand right here, and pull, press, and twist at the same time to get their hands off your upper chest. Then after they've let them go, Use the front snap or the side kick to strike the groin or knees, elbow strike the jaws, hammer fist the groin. Put your front foot in front of you, take both hands, grab this arm right here. Pick them up off the ground, twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Take the front foot, trap the front wrist, then use the back foot to 
stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp, kia. Then, go tell the teacher or principal or some other school staff member and let them know what happened. Now I'm going to show you one last time, then I'm going to show you how it's going to look in combat speed, then we'll be done. Let's say you're on your way to your next class, or to the cafeteria for breakfast or lunch, or you're on your way to your PE class and without warning, a bully puts you in the lapel grab. What you do? Play possum. Act like they don't, like you're not going to do nothing, they have you. And then when they think they have you, surprise them by using the front snap kick to strike the groin or knees. And then you can use the knife hand chops to either to strike their ears or use the palm heel to strike their nose. Take both your thumbs, put them right behind their ears on the very soft spot, which is right here. Press and squeeze really hard and that's instant pain there. Or take your front finger and thumb, put it on the very soft spot in between the neck and shoulder, press and squeeze really hard, instant pain there. Or take both hands, like your frame, pull up, then put this hand right here, and this one on the wrist, then pull and twist at the same time to get their hands off your upper chest. And then after they've let go, either use the front snap or the sidekick to strike the groin or knees, elbow strike the jaws, hammer fist the groin. Put your front foot in front of you, Take both hands, grab this arm right here. Pick them up off the ground, twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Take the front foot, trap the front wrist so they can't fight back. Then use the back foot to strike the groin, strike the knee, stomp, kia! And then go tell the teacher, the principal, or some other school staff member, and let them know what happened. Now here's how it's gonna look in combat speed, watch. Kia, a kia, a kia, 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 a kia. Kia, 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 kia. That's how it's gonna look in combat speed. Thank you for watching my new, very, very special self-defense martial arts teaching video for YouTube. And to all autistic special need and other children, teenagers with other disabilities, practice this stuff that could save your life if a bully tries to harm you while you're heading to your next class, the cafeteria for breakfast or lunch, or PE class while you're in school. Next Wednesday, I will be doing a domestic violence self-defense teaching video to help all young girls and women if you're an abusive ex-husband or boyfriend try on, on TikTok to try to, if they try to use the headlock or the two-handed chokehold to try to harm you. Tomorrow on YouTube, I will be doing a weight bar bodybuilding performance video doing everything on the ground starting it with this then doing it one-handed, then do the bench press, and then I will be doing the open chest on the ground. And Friday, I will be doing a ab bodybuilding performance video on TikTok, doing both the flutter and the scissors kicks. Be ready for those videos till then. Till then, see you next time, and always support autism, and may God be with all children always.